The Adopt Me School is getting an update. Today, we're going to be checking out this brand new update in the Adopt Me Test Lab. But first, let's go and check out what the actual Adopt Me School looks like so we can go and do a comparison for the later point where we get to see how the building has completely changed, how they've gone and introduced a whole new room, and much more. So I'm sure you guys are all aware this is what the current school looks like. There is only one level to it. However, in the brand's new school, there is going to be two floors, meaning you can go up some stairs and it will take you to a new room, which is actually pretty cool. So basically, this room seems to stay the same. We then get this room gone and yeah, basically quite a lot of changes. New Fissy is still the teacher in the school, so you can dress up like him and he'll still be here. And basically behind the entrance, there is these steps which you go up to to get onto the second floor. So to have gone and experienced this and seen it in game, you would have had to have joined the Adopt Me Test Lab. The Adopt Me Test Lab is a server where Adopt Me goes and opens it at random points and you can join it and you can experience these new updates. So basically the Test Lab is not guaranteed to come out into the official Adopt Me game because they're testing it on this test server to see how people react to it, to see if the game is good, to see how people work, to see how the game just works in general. Which is why most things go into that game before they're added into the actual update, which is quite interesting to see. If you haven't already gone and seen the video where I showed you that the whole of the Adopt Me map circle would change possibly, then definitely go and check that video out. I made it a couple days ago. This one is about the brand new school because, I mean, Adopt Me is literally going and remodeling every single building, which you might have noticed. They remodeled the baby shop recently. Then we recently had the toy shop and then the sky castle. So one by one, they are slowly going through and updating every building. Let's now jump into that test lab and see what it looks like. We have now just joined the Adopt Me Test Lab. Let's go and see what these new updates are. So let's just press start testing and see what this is like. All right, so I've been given a bunch of random pets. It doesn't seem that I've been given anything else. Have we got the new vehicles, guys? We have a legendary honey. We got a chocolate, a teleportation potion. It doesn't seem that we have anything else though. So apparently the main difference now is that there is an update to tell you how many people are inside of a building. So as you can see, we're in the main area right now. Someone's trying to send me a trade request. So, oh, I actually still have the star, so that's kind of cool. So over here, we can see there is a little number above the room. So that will indicate how many people are in the room, which is actually pretty useful, I guess. Also, I'm quite jealous. Everyone here is running around with drafts and ride potions and whatnot. Meanwhile, all I get in my inventory is a beaver, a golden ladybug, and a turtle, which is very tragic. But let's go and see. So it says three people are inside of here. And then outside, it says how many people are outside, which, you know, also makes sense. It seems the rest of the game doesn't have anything that I can notice that has been updated. It seems all of the pets are the same. We don't get to have a glimpse at any of these mythical pets. Imagine if they accidentally uploaded all of the mythical pets onto that little menu. That would be kind of funny. As for the rest of the things, it all seems pretty normal. The only differences we can see is the fact that it just says how many people are outside. It doesn't let you go into the VIP room, but this is kind of a bizarre update. Telling you how many people are inside of a building. Definitely something I wasn't expecting Adopt Me to go and make an update for. I'm not sure how helpful this is to some people, but if you guys want to know how many people are in a room, then I guess you can now. I, I really don't know the benefit of that, to be honest. Um, I'm gonna put a house down and wonder if that works. Does it like tell me how many people are in the house, maybe? Okay, so it doesn't even work inside of houses, which would kind of be the thing that would be most useful to see if someone's in your house. So all it seems to be in this update is that you can literally tell how many people are in a room and it kind of just like follows you whichever way you're facing, it will show you that there is one person in here. So if we go into this building, I'm expecting to see one person. What the? Okay, no, I've lost my mind. They have changed the school, everyone. They have changed the school. Hang on. 
What? Where am I? Um, no, what, 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 what? Okay, so this, this looks normal. Kinda. Um, what the what? What? Why is our brick wall here? New Fissy, explain yourself, bro. Um, I'm this one of the teachers. My name's New Fissy. Um, are you kidding me? Why? What is this? Why is there an upstairs lounge? They, I got pranked. I didn't think there was going to be anything else. We got a whole new room. Wait a second. Do you see that? I can, I can, okay. Um, this is, this is crazy. I was not expecting the whole update to include a new school inside of Adopt Me. How is no one else excited about the fact that there is literally a new school right now? Like, what? This is so cool. This is so awesome. I love this. I'm so glad that there actually is something that they changed. I'm gonna go and grab a screenshot in case, like, this server closes down because these servers close down so often and then they're gone. So I can't tell if there's many other updates. There's, like, a little screen. or oh, we can turn that on and off. Then there's a brick wall. I want to know what is behind that brick wall, um, but I don't have, like, any fly pets. I need a fly pet to... To like do the glitch where you walk up to it and click fly on it. Oh, that is sad. I want to see what's okay. There's actually nothing behind this wall. There is nothing behind it. So I mean, there would be kind of no benefit of getting behind that. But this is nice. I like the fact that we are getting an update. Maybe I should go and check out some of these other areas. Um, that might be something different to go and explore so let's go and have a look is this place any different this looks pretty much identically the same so let's skedaddle out of here because that looks exactly the same so let's go and see before this video ends be sure to go and follow me on my social media instagram my username is at matty ajp be sure to go and follow me on there and if you want to follow my roblox profile do that to follow someone's roblox profile you click on these three little dots and there should be a button that says follow i don't accept friend requests and if you go and press follow you will get to go and join my games when i'm online i have got it set to followers only so if you're not following me then you will not be able to go and join my games for all of the people who are following me they get a sneak peek at this game that i'm developing so if you want to go and check this out then be sure to be following me and you could be featured in these new videos where i go and show you secret things about the mythical egg so definitely go and follow my profile to go and see all of these exclusive games and special events i do I hope you guys did enjoy this video, leave it a thumbs up and use star code CANDY if you're purchasing Roblox, Roblox Premium or a Roblox gift card and redeeming it. And that would be insanely appreciated. Let me know what you think about this update, do you guys like this new school nursery update or are you not a fan? I'm very much intrigued so let us know in the comment section what you think about this update because I think it's pretty cool and I'm intrigued to know what you think. Anyway, hope you have a great, fantastic day, and if it's your birthday, happy birthday. Goodbye, everyone.